Okay, it's time to set about making this sun shape look like it's creating some light. So let's get rid of the um, hyper shade. We don't need that. And we need to create a new light. So create uh, lights. And we're going to create a point light because the sun is pretty much the definition of a point light. It's just a light um, and it, it emits light in every direction. So point light is perfect for that. Okay, now we're going to be a little bit clever or lazy um, at this stage. So here's the light down in the floor we want it to be in the middle of the sun now what we can do is we can parent that and then um, it will be able to just go there quite easily so I'm going to shift select the sun making sure the light is still selected shift select the sun so they're both selected and then I'm going to parent that by just pressing P okay so now whenever I select the sun I can see that that light is selected as well cool so I just need to make sure the light is selected um, let's go back a couple of steps until that is the case. Okay, so I've got the light selected and I need to have my channel box open. So that's Control and A to open that. Here it is. Right now you can see that even though this light is at the origin, it's already got some translate data. So what we can do is set that all to zero because this is now zero for the light and it'll just go exactly where I want it. So zero in there, there it is, the light's gone in the right place let's frame that up then so now that light is exactly where I want it now what we're going to do is edit the attributes of that light so that it behaves the way we want to and uh, get it rendered again, so control and A get the attribute editor open uh, we need to change the colour to yellow because, you know, it's the sun and that is what will look cool there we go and um, we're going to change the decay rate to quadratic so that it dies off. Bosh. Okay, and I think that makes it time to try and create another render. So there we go, let's try and get in nice and close on it this time so that we can see what effect it's having on the planets. So there we go, I should be able to see it hitting this side of um, the Mars looking planet, uh, this side of Earth as well. Okay, so let's hit render on that. Oh, it worked. There you go. So now you can see a little crescent of light has appeared on these planets, making the scene look even sexier than before. Oh, we're really starting to make some progress now. Right. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to add um, a glow to the light itself in the next video. Um, and that'll make it look more realistic, like it's been shot with an actual film camera. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video for that.